K-I-C-K.com. We are live. You can come join us if you want. If not, that's cool. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. If we happen to go live and you miss it, this is where you can catch it. If it's anything good. Uh, we had three fails so far at this, so that's interesting. Don't forget we got the Patreon. This is an up-to-date list of everything that's on there. And we got merch. If you want to participate in merch, here it is. I'm not begging. <laughs> you can if you want to, or if you don't, it's okay. Um... This is Scar City News. Late, wait, Leighton Stone Killer chases victim Gullum Sadiq with zombie knife on CCTV. Okay, I'm going to play devil's advocate. Don't nobody chase somebody down the street on a bicycle with a zombie knife for no reason. What did Gullum do? Or was this just like a, a dude that was just on a spree? Like, what happened? Let me, let's just watch. This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate you joining me today. And this is a follow-up to a story that I covered last year on August the 6th. It was a murder that occurred in Leytonstone, and the victim was named as 18-year-old Ghulam Sadiq. He was stabbed with a zombie fantasy knife that was bought. On so people actually use these to go in and out and unalive people. Like, this is, this is overly gruesome. Like, something got to be going on in your head mentally to put, take this out and put it in somebody. On social media. Repeatedly. Imad Mia, 18 years old, from the West Midlands, he lived on Solihull Road, was convicted of the murder at the Old Bailey on the 4th of April, and this week he has been sentenced. Thank you to Dave Nathan for his previous coverage from the... 22 years. Minimum. ...scene that showed the scene where... He'll be out at 40. With plenty of life to live. Gulam had collapsed outside a restaurant on the high street. He had suffered multiple stab wounds and he was stabbed in a public place. It is only now a year later that the prosecution have released the footage of Imad Mia carrying the weapon just before the murder and also chasing the victim down. He was sentenced at Lewes Crown Court with one count of murder to serve a minimum of 19 years and the second count is possession of a... Minimum 19 years? I see, I was being nice. I said 21, 22 or something. He's going to get out in his 30s. He's still going to be in the prime of his life. <laughs> Bladed article, which he will serve 12 months detention to serve concurrently. DCI Linda Bradley from the Met Specialist Crime Unit said, this is one of those rare cases where we'd never be able to establish the complete motive for the crime. Meyer said that he had diminished responsibility and he only admitted manslaughter, but we proved that he was carefully planning and also buying weapons online and his actions throughout the day were not random acts of violence. He had planned this and this was a very deliberate murder. The team quickly identified him and arrested him and uncovered his attempts to obtain the knife he used in the attack. They had to ask why this weapon was being sold online, the police said in the court case. I can see no justification for any reasonable member of society. This knife is literally made of the same stuff Thor's hammer is, was forged out of in that dying star with the, 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 with the dude up there who was a big short person. Like, why do they sell these? Like, what exactly do you use this for in real life? Like, what is the real life application to a, to a, to a Thor sword? Like, what is that? Society that would want to purchase these items. His mother, Kalinda Parvan, said Gulen was brutally murdered in broad daylight. Uh huh. Brindy, that's funny. That's funny that you asked that. I'm going to talk to you. I'll address it after this. It's only fun. And it was very close to our family home. There are no words to describe our pain and our loss and the wretched feeling that I have every single day knowing that he would never return. Gulam was very popular, compassionate and great fun. He was always the centre of attention and very much liked by family, friends and teachers that he was acquainted with. 
He had so much to offer and a very kind and gentle heart. He was very known for his cheeky looks, respect for elders and good mannerisms and was known as a very polite kid in the local area. The court heard the killer, who was 17 at the time, tried to obtain a knife using false ID online. On Saturday the 23rd of July 2022, Mia attempted to buy a 15-inch Rambo knife from a website. He provided a false name with a fake driving license and the vendor realised the identity was fake and the order was rejected. Undeterred. But why don't they, like, why didn't the, 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 okay, I guess that's a lot of responsibility to be putting on the delivery person. The peep the vendor, but like he should have like reported him. Like yo, there's somebody blah 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 trying to you know what I'm saying. I don't know how much it would have done with the Met Police, but. <laughs> Third, on Sunday the 24th of July 2022, he placed another order for two knives from a different website. This was a fantasy Spartan sword, blackout version with serrated blade. It was a two-piece set. Again, he provided a false name and also driving license. This time it was accepted and the knives were shipped to his address in the Solihull area. The knives could not be delivered and it was left at a local post office, but there was no record that they were ever collected. But the knives that he used to kill Gulam Sadiq were exactly the same as the ones that he had tried to purchase. Both. So this is a two-man job then. Somebody in the post office, no bro. Yeah, ship them to the random house, they'll send them to the post office and then just come pick them up. I got you. times. Mia travelled from Birmingham to London on the 4th of August 2022 and it's believed he was in possession of at least one of those knives. It was on Sunday the 6th of August 2022 that the fateful attack took place. Mia took a train to Stratford where he hired a bike and made his way to Leytonstone where he was seen cycling around by a number of witnesses. Bro is looking, he's spinning a block on a, on a city bike. It was a sunny day but Mia had his hood up and he was wearing gloves and had his face concealed by a surgical mask. How many people called the police on this? This is this is suspicious as hell. He on a city bike with his surgical gloves, a hoodie on in 90 degree weather. Like that's just, like if I seen somebody in Chicago in the middle of the summer like this, it's a red flag. Go in the house or be prepared for what's about to happen. Instant. Oh, is this a person? Oh no, that's a duck. Mia made his way to the street where 18 year old Gulam Sadiq lived and he waited there. When Mr. Sadiq arrived, he was on bicycle and Mia took out the knife and Gulam cycled off. Maya continued to chase Gulam and this time with the knife in hand and when Gulam returned a short time later, he chased him and stabbed him in the back. Mia then went to the Gulam cycled off. Maya continued to chase Gulam and this time with the knife in hand and when Gulam returned a short time later, he chased him and stabbed him in the back. Mia Gulam was young. Uh, I don't understand. So he, Buddy was on foot at this moment in time, chased him while he was on a bike, uh, got away and then he came back because, you know, he wanted to go home. And he was still there waiting? Mia then went to the bike that he'd used and cycled off. Gulam managed to find a restaurant on the high road in Leytonstone, but then he fell over and died at the scene. So wait, he ran him down on foot while he was on a bicycle. These, hey, listen, y'all athletic killers. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. Police were called at quarter past two on the 6th of August, and they found the man RIP with multiple stab wounds, but there was nothing they could do to save him. A special post mortem took place on the 9th of August at Haringey Mortuary, and the cause of death was sharp force trauma to the back, consistent with a bladed tool such as a knife. Yikes. The wound was 15 centimeters in depth, and it had pierced Gulam's heart. An immediate investigation was launched by the Metropolitan Police, and this has led to the conviction that we have seen today. The police through the back. That means it went through a lot of bonage to get there. Managed to trace the hire bike that he was using, and they found that Mir had paid for it using his own bank card. The cl Dumbass. clothing Mir was wearing while travelling was also visible and matched what they saw at the scene of the crime.
On Tuesday the 9th of August 2022, police officers located Mia in Warsaw and arrested him on suspicion of murder. He was interviewed and made no comment to any of the questions. At court, he admitted manslaughter but denied murder. So this story definitely goes to show the dangers that are posed by weapons that can be purchased online by teenagers, young people. They now get sold on social media pages where these children can obtain fantasy swords and all sorts of bizarre weapons that have no real purpose apart from to murder somebody brutally. That's so crazy. rest in peace to Ghulam Sadiq. And I don't condone none of that. Really appreciate you following this story over the past year and this update. And I really want to hear what people have to say in the comments. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I mean, that's crazy, man. TLO, like he said, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Cause that's crazy. Off, 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 on, like, what is the every like? I understand it was a fantasy knife. It's not really meant to like. You're just supposed to have it and be like, oh, I think I'm cool type. You know what I'm saying? But come on, yeah. They need to be more rigor, rigor, rigorous background or make sure who you are. I don't know, man. TLO, leave a like, comment. I'm gone.